Greetings fellow Skyrim adventurers, and we're back with another exciting video on the must-have mods for Skyrim. If you're like us, you're always on the lookout for new and innovative ways to enhance your gameplay experience. So if you haven't installed these mods yet, you're in for a treat. Get ready to take your game to the next level. Aren't you a little bored with the monotonous guards outfit? Didn't you want a more dynamic soldier's armor? Then Sons of Skyrim mod might be just the mod for you. Sons of Skyrim is a modification that adds several sets of Nordic-style armor and weapons to the game, each with unique historical and fantasy elements. The main focus of this mod was to create armor that looks and feels like it belongs in the game world. The mod includes six variations of Rebel Soldier armor, ranging from simple and affordable to heavy and expensive armor. Helmets, gloves, boots, cloaks, and fur collars are randomly combined with armor options and distributed to soldiers. Windhelm Guards have their own heavy guard armor set, reflecting their elevated status in the city. In addition, officers have their own elite armor and weapons set. The old bearskin armor was also renamed and added to the smithy's recipes, giving players a chance to craft this unique and stylish armor set. Technical details of the mod include model grids with three times more triangles than standard game models, with a limit of 16,000 triangles for one set of armor. The armor textures are 4096, while the textures for helmets, gloves, and boots are 2048. The mod has been thoroughly tested in the game without third-party modifications, ensuring a smooth and seamless experience. Sons of Skyrim is a fantastic mod that enhances the game's Nordic atmosphere and provides players with a wider range of unique and visually stunning armor and weapon options. In this time, I'm going to show you a cool mod that adds animation to the Kratos Guardian Shields from God of War. This mod is called Kratos Guardian Shield Animated and it's created by Silesian Lion. This mod makes the shields look more realistic and dynamic. They are not just static objects on your arm, but they can change shape and size depending on your actions. The shields are normally small and compact, but when you block with them, they unfold into a larger round shield that can protect you from attacks. The animation is smooth and seamless, and it looks awesome in combat. So, if you're a fan of God of War, or just want to enhance your Skyrim experience, I highly recommend checking out the Kratos Guardian Shield animated mod. It's a small addition that can make a big difference in the game, and I'm sure you won't be disappointed. In this time, we're going to talk about Bump Into Someone, which adds some really immersive animation elements. This mod adds a new level of realism to your game by allowing your character to bump into other characters in the game world. With this mod, when you accidentally bump into an NPC, you will see a variety of reactions. Depending on the NPC, they may drop items like coins or keys on the ground, or even fall down if they are a child. If you as the player are the one doing the bumping, you may even fall down yourself if you run into an NPC who is heavily armored or carrying a lot of weight. To make these interactions even more seamless, the Bump Into Someone mod utilizes the DAS framework. This framework allows for animation synchronization between two actors, and it can even synchronize animations with sound and tongue expressions using animation annotations. And because this framework is based on the SKSE plugin, the interpretation of the annotations and the playing of the animations with sound are both fast and highly synchronized. Therefore, the Bump Into Someone mod is a great way to add more realism to your Skyrim gameplay and make your interactions with NPCs feel more immersive. In this time, I'm excited to share with you a mod that will make the towns in Skyrim more unique and visually appealing. The Unique Towns Base Object Swapper mod swaps out the houses in Dawnstar, Morthal, Falkreath, and Winterhold with custom ones that have different wall textures and window designs. This mod is compatible with lighting mods and uses Base Object Swapper to change interior locations without touching cell records. One of the key features of this mod is the custom wall textures used in each of the houses. You'll notice a distinct difference between each of the towns, which adds to the immersion of the game. The modder has also made it possible to use your own wood posts, stone walls, and walkways textures to keep consistency with texture mods. To make the installation process even easier, the mod comes with a faux mod that lets you choose which towns you want to change. You can also choose between vanilla style and northern farmhouse style. The latter comes with lumber mills and walkways to make the towns even more unique. In conclusion, 
The unique Towns Base Object Swapper mod is a great addition to any Skyrim playthrough. It adds more variety and uniqueness to the towns, and is easy to install with the faux mod option. Give it a try and let me know what you think. In this time, we're taking a look at the Lawless Bandit Overhaul mod for Skyrim and Solstheim. This mod introduces a complete overhaul to bandit enemies, with new enemy types, more leveled tiers, and improved spells and stats. Lawless introduces 13 new bandit archetypes, each with unique strengths and weaknesses inspired by previous TES titles. These new bandit types bring more diversity and challenge to bandit encounters throughout the game. Bandits have also received stat and perk adjustments that fit their respective roles as enemies. With Lawless, bandits have access to all appropriate perks for their class, providing a more formidable challenge for the player. Additionally, Lawless introduces a bandit scaling system that allows bandits to continue to scale with the player throughout a playthrough, ensuring they always represent a reasonable challenge. The equipment used by bandits has also been adjusted to make room for new variants and additional scaling tiers. Light armor bosses have received a new armor set, the gorgeous Nordic leather armor, while heavy armor bosses now have access to the Nordic carved armor from Dragonborn. Bandit bosses have also received a chance to wear enchanted jewelry specific to their skills, providing a new opportunity for players to find enchanted gear in the wild. Lastly, the mod has made adjustments to bandit gold, providing a higher overall gold income for the player, with the caveat that gold is no longer heavily concentrated on just the boss of an area. These changes ensure players are rewarded for dispatching non-boss enemies. Lawless is an excellent mod that breathes new life into bandit encounters in Skyrim and Solstheim, so grab your weapons and prepare to face a new level of challenge with Lawless a bandit overhaul. Have you ever encountered the issue where you hold down the shift key to run in Skyrim, then begin a conversation with an NPC, release the key, and then finish the conversation, only to find that your character is still moving at a walking pace as if you're still holding the shift key? Or perhaps you've experienced a similar issue after a kill cam mode, where your character is still moving at a walking pace, even though you were holding the shift key when you initiated the kill cam. Well, the modern Toggle Walk Run Fix SE mod has been created to solve this issue without the need for any scripts, DLLs, or ESPs. In the past, there was an SKSE fix for this issue on the LE Nexus, but there were no published fixes for it on SE. So what's causing this issue? It turns out that it's an issue with input contexts. Run is not a defined control while a menu is open, so it cannot be processed. These contexts are defined in controlmap.txt file, which is packed in one of the game's BSA archives. Fortunately, the solution is quite simple. All you need to do is add an additional line under the menu mode section of the controlmap.txt file. This is exactly what the modern toggle walk run fix mod does for you, making it a quick and easy solution to the issue. The mod contains the modified controlmap.txt file, and you can install it using your mod manager or by dropping it into your data folder. And the best part? It's completely safe to install or uninstall in a current playthrough. If you've ever played Skyrim, you know how important the Red Mountain is to the game's lore. And now, with this mod, you can make it even more impressive. This mod features an upgraded mesh, shaders, and textures for the Red Mountain plume, with four versions to choose from. Two versions are similar to the Vanilla Plume, while the other two come with flame effects, making it look even more dramatic. You can also choose from three texture resolutions, 2K, 1K, and 512px, so you can pick the one that works best for your system. One of the coolest features of this mod is that the plume now reacts to sunlight, giving it a more realistic and dynamic appearance. It also has a more three-dimensional look, making it stand out even more against the backdrop of the Red Mountain. That's it for today's video on the top Skyrim mods you should be using at the end of April 2023. We hope you found this video helpful and informative. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Skyrim content, and let us know in the comments which mods you think we should feature in our next video. Until then, happy modding.